Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install macOS Sequoia Developer Beta 4 on your Mac. macOS 15 Sequoia is here and it is packed with awesome features, including Apple Intelligence, which will be available on Macs in September. But if you are too excited to wait, you can grab the macOS Sequoia Developer Beta 4 right now. Just a heads up, developer betas are for testing and installing them on your main computer might not be the best idea. Let's dive into how you can install the macOS Sequoia Developer Beta 4 on your Mac and get a first look at all the cool new stuff. Starting with macOS Sonoma, Apple changed the process of how you can get the developer betas. Now, instead of using the macOS beta access utility, you can directly install beta updates from system settings after you sign up. So let me show you how to sign up for macOS Sequoia beta updates. I'm going to open up my browser. Head over to beta.apple.com. Click sign in. I'm going to sign in with my Apple ID. Sign in with my Mac password. I'll type in the password of my Mac and click continue. Okay, you can see the agreement. Select agree under macOS. Scroll down a little and you can see enroll your Mac. Click on that. So basically, it will tell you the steps on how you can get the macOS Sequoia beta updates. Scroll down a little. The first step you can see to back up your macOS just in case if you want to roll back to macOS Sonoma. And the second step is to turn on the beta updates. So for that, I'm going to click this link which says open software update and click on allow. So in here, you can see macOS Sequoia developer beta update or macOS Sequoia public beta update. So I'm going to select macOS Sequoia developer beta update and click on done. Now let your Mac check for the latest beta updates. Now it's going to take some time to download in my case, I had already downloaded the macOS Sequoia 15 beta 4 update. So that's why it showed up immediately. In your case, it might take some time to download the update depending on your network speed. So once it is downloaded, click on upgrade now. And I'm going to type in my password and hit OK. All right, you can see it is restarting. So your Mac will restart and you will see an Apple logo and the progress bar. Once the installation is complete, your Mac will restart again. Now you're all set. You can start exploring the new macOS Sequoia features before anyone else. Don't forget if you run into any bugs, use the Feedback Assistant app to let Apple know. Your feedback helps make macOS Sequoia better for everyone when it officially rolls out in September. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like these.